Hey, what's good, y'all? It's your boy EJ over here. We want to ask him, what's the purpose of life? For me, it's all about the afterlife. Afterlife? Yeah. What about you, bro? Me, I just praise Allah and get money. Have you guys, like, ever encountered Allah? No. No? No. 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 What about you? Nah. No. Okay. Do you believe in Jesus, you? Yeah, I believe in Jesus Christ, and I and I encounter Jesus, like not Issa, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Yeshua Hamashiach, in my bedroom. I, I know you say you can't encounter Allah because He's not real. When I had an encounter with Christ, everything changed. Yo, it blew my mind because like it's a difference between hearing about it and actually seeing it for yourself. Hopefully, I get to see it and feel it one day, man. Can I pray for you? Can I pray for you? Just seek the truth, Jesus. Seek Him. All right, God bless you. I hereby commend you. Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. In the name of Jesus. But you have to repent. For the kingdom of God is at This is in Bible prophecy. Be fulfilled as I'm preaching. Be long, bro. If you want to, so. What's good, y'all? What's good, y'all? Your boy EJ over here. We got what's your name? JB. DJ. All right, my name is EJ too. All right, that's cool. That's cool. All right, so we out here. We're gonna ask them, what's the purpose of life? Shit, I don't know. For me though, um, shit, it's a bigger plan for me though. Like it's like it's all about like for me, um. For me, it's all about the afterlife, for me. Afterlife? Yeah. yeah. So you believe that there's like an eternal life? Yeah, I believe, like for me, I'm a Muslim myself, for me. So okay. I believe there's an afterlife, for me. Whatever you do, there's a consequence, for me. Mm -hmm. So, okay. yeah. I agree. I, I, I agree that, like, whatever you do, there's a consequence. And I, I believe there's a there's an afterlife, too. What about you, bro? Me, I just praise Allah and get money. That's it. That's your, that's your purpose? Praise Allah and get money? That's it? All right, cool. So do do y'all believe in like like there's like a um I'm trying to think of like the Quran. Do y'all believe in like a heaven and a hell? Yeah. Hell yeah, of course. We Muslim. We supposed to. By the way, we believe in Jesus too. So we, okay. We like whatever, as a prophet though, not God. Okay. Okay. So you believe in him as like as like a prophet. All right. So how did so like how did, how do I know I'm a like I have full assurance I'm gonna make it to heaven? Sure. For, I mean. Like like, like full assurance like. Man, like if I die, like man, I know I'm good. You know what I mean? I mean, there's 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 no way to tell. I mean, there's 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 no way to tell. See, I asked that question for a reason because I knew he would not have a direct answer because there is no answer. Muslims don't have full assurance that they're going to heaven. Mah their own prophet Muhammad didn't didn't even have full assurance that he was going to go into heaven. But prophet Muhammad said in Surah 46, 9, I do not know what shall be done with me or with you. We do as believers of Christ. Jesus said that I am the way, the truth, the life. No one goes to the father, hallelujah, but through him. See, we, we have full assurance because of what he did on the cross. The, the sin problem that we all have, the sacrifice, the, the, the price that needed to be paid for the sins that we all committed is washed away by the blood of the lamb. John the Baptist beheld Jesus. He said, behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of this world. So now Jesus Christ seals us with his Holy Spirit. Paul said, it's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Now he lives inside of us through the Holy Spirit. So now when the Father looks at us, he's not looking at our righteousness, but he's looking at Christ's righteousness living on the inside of us. But the Bible says that he that knew no sin became sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him, in Jesus Christ. But for me, just but just by what, uh, like your actions and stuff like that, mm -hmm. feel me, like you could tell like for sure, like if he was abandoning, let's say like he was out here, feel me, doing wild shit, feel me, like killing, even though like, like feel me, for us, like in the Quran, like God said, feel me, even though let's say you kill somebody, mm -hmm. feel me, as long as you repent, feel me, like you could be, you could, you could even go to, go to heaven for that, feel me, all you gotta do is just repent, that's, that's just what it is. So what if I like kill somebody and I'm like, I repent? And I kill him again, somebody else, and I be like, I repent, I'm good? But, nah, that's, that's not, it's, it's not about if you're good or not. It's just about between you and God. Feel me, whatever something else telling you, that's not their business. That's between you and God. That's why we say, like, feel me, yeah, everybody, yeah. everybody, Allah forgives everything, you know? Whatever you do, he will forgive you. Just go back on time before you die, you know? 
And right before, just one thing: do not put nothing like you know above Allah. You know that's the one thing he does. He does not forgive. Anything else he forgives. You still got a chance to do it. Always, always still have a second chance. Always remember that. So, so how do I know like I'm forgiven though? Things just gonna start working out for you, you know? The minute you start praying, you know? Cause me, bro, I'm not gonna be a hypocrite. I don't pray every day, but every time I start praying, I start seeing good stuff, you know? Coming into my life, but, you know? Good stuff like what? Like stuff just start working out, you know? Stuff just start working out. Money start coming in, you know? Good stuff start coming out. L locked doors start, you know? Every door is open for you when you start praying. For real, just give it a try, man. Just give it a try, you know? What about you? What about you? Yeah, same shit too, feel me? Like, I don't be praying sometimes, feel me? But then when I start praying, it's just like, feel me? It's just like miracle opening my doors, feel me? Just like wild, wild stuff coming my way. And I just be grateful for it, feel me? Yeah. Can, can y'all give me like, um, like a, so like, you, you guys believe Allah's God, right? Yeah, that's what I'm Absolutely. So can God speak? No, he just gonna speak one time and that's, that's, it's gonna be in the here after. That's when everybody gonna know what's who's really God. Feel me? That's when he gonna speak. All right. Um. How how come he can't speak? I mean, he could speak. Cause feel me, like he he made us in in his way. Feel me, like you could see, you got eyes, you could hear, you got feel me. He made us in his way. So feel me, he could see everything. He don't need to to talk to you. Feel me? All all you need is to see the signs and that's it. Feel me? What, what about you? My bad, to cut you off. What about you? Um. What was the question? Uh, can Allah speak? And he said he said he doesn't speak. So I'm like kind of wondering why. I'm not saying he doesn't speak. I'm I'm not saying he doesn't speak. I'm just saying like like he he just made us like in a way like like he don't you don't you don't he don't need to speak with us. You just gonna feel him. Feel me? Okay. I mean everything is in the Quran, bro. Like he don't really you know everything is in the Quran. Like the you know the Bible and the Quran are similar a little bit, but still not the same. But everything yeah, not the same at all. is not the same. But it's similar. It's you know it's the same thing. We talking about the same thing. But everything is in the Quran. Like everything Allah said is already in the Quran. You just gotta read it, you know, and do stuff your way, I guess. All right. Have you guys? Last question. Have you guys ever? Have, have you guys like ever encountered Allah? Encountered him? Encountered him? Yeah. No. 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 What about you? Nah. Nah. No. Okay. All right. That was that was the last question. I do want to say. Do you believe in Jesus? You? Yeah, I believe in Jesus Christ. Can I say my point now, real quick? Yeah, I appreciate it. And by the way, yo, great conversation, bro. Love y'all. I just want to say this. I do believe, and you can, you know, say whatever you want to say after, unless you got it. But I do want to say, um, you guys said you guys never encountered Allah. Uh, me, my personal testimony is this: like, uh, like, uh, like my mom, like she forced me to go to church. Like she was, like when I was a kid, like she forced me to go to church, and I hated it, bro. Like I hated the Bible. I hated like she. I remember like as soon. As she would, uh, I would hear the word God, I would get rage. Like, I would feel like mad rage in my body. I don't know if y'all believe in demons, but that's a de that was a demon of rage. I was dealing with it at the time. You know what I'm saying? I would feel rage and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And um, But I remember like there came to a point in time where after I graduated, after I was, you know, I was bound to love pornography, chasing women in high school, hooping, hooping, you know what I'm saying? After I graduated, uh, I, I, could, I didn't go to college right away and I, I couldn't find a job because I never had a job before. And I remember, I remember like, you know, you know, when you're home a lot, you begin to think a lot. Especially after high school, you begin to think of like, like deep questions. You feel me? Like that's why I asked, like, what's the purpose of life? That's one of the things I was thinking. Like, what's my, like, what's my purpose? And then I began to ask, like, yo, it, can God speak to you? Like, it's just, it's just, a, it's just a desire or a question is birthed out of nowhere in my heart. Like, can God speak to you? Because like, if He's God, He should be able to do all things. And and speaking is something you can do. You know what I'm saying? So like, so I know for me personally, like, um, I was like, um, there was one time, one time when I was 18. I prayed. I didn't know how to pray. You know what I'm saying? Like I heard like a. I know. I knew a little bit from like what I, I heard growing up, but like I didn't know how to pray. And I and I encountered Jesus. Like not Issa, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Yeshua Hamashiach, in my bedroom. I felt His presence. I felt chills. Like I felt His presence all up in my body. And I heard Him speak me. Like speak to me. Like speak to me. Like I heard Him call my name. And I didn't know it was Him at first. I didn't know it was Him at first. And then I was like, so I remember I asked him like, Lord, is this you? And he, I remember I, I waited for like five seconds and I heard Him clear as day, bro. Clear as day. Yes. So I do want to say, like, yo, like, Jesus, you, I, I know you say you can't encounter Allah. I believe because, well, I, I feel like I know, I know because he's not, with all due respect, I don't, he's not real. But because, like, in order for something to be real, you have to be able to see it or feel it. Not necessarily see it, but feel it, see the results of it. And I'm here to let you know that that's only in Jesus Christ, all right? You can respond, though.
So you think God has a picture? Like there's a picture of God? Uh, according to the Bible, the Bible says that Jesus is the visible image of the invisible God. So technically, yeah. That's what the Bible says? Yeah, Jesus says, you want me to pull up the scripture? Well, I, my phone is in my hand. But the Bible says Jesus is the visible image of the invisible God. I mean, that's what you believe, so. Yeah, I just want to let you know, guys, you can encounter him, bro. Like, I, I, encounter. And, like, you know how we're, we're encountering him? Like, you know, the Bible, the Bible says that, you guys believe in Moses, right? Yeah, so the Bible says that, that, that uh, Moses spoke to God uh, as a friend. You know, they, they were face to face as a friend. You know, uh, and that's, some, that's one thing that you can have with Christ. It's like, like, cause I always thought like me, like I thought it was a religion, bro. I'm like, I, I don't want nothing to do with it. I just want to have sex with mad women, bounce of pornography and just hoop. Like, you know what I'm saying? That was all me playing 2K all day, you feel me? But like, you know, when I had an encounter with Christ, everything changed and I'm like, yeah, it blew my mind. Cause I was like, cause like, it's a difference between hearing about it and actually seeing it for yourself. And that's all I'm encouraging you, bro, that you can actually see it for yourself, bro. Yeah. Hey, hopefully I get to see or it. Feel it for yourself. Hopefully I get to see it and feel it one day, man. Can I pray for you? Huh? Can I pray for you? Yes, sir. You mind if it's on camera or not? Cause I know some people, they be iffy about it. It don't matter, don't bro. Matter. All right. All right. Let's get it. What's your name, bro? I'm Jibril. Jibril? Yep. Hey, Amen. Father God, in Jesus' name, I'm praying for Jibril, Lord. I pray, Lord God, that you have your way right now, Holy Ghost. I'm praying that you touch him and his friend, Holy Spirit, right now in Jesus' name, Lord God. I'm praying, Lord God, that he will feel your presence, Lord God. I'm praying, Lord God, that he will encounter you, Lord. Your word says, knock and the door will be open. Seek and you will find. Ask will be given unto you, Lord God. Decision, hallelujah, that we have to make, Lord God. So I'm praying, Lord God, Holy Spirit, you begin to work in his heart, in his mind, Holy Spirit, right now, Lord. I come against every spirit of religion, Lord God. I come against every plan of the enemy to try to confuse him and lead him to deception. Your word says the Satan has blinded the eyes of them that don't believe, Lord. Blind them to the light of the truth of the gospel, Lord God. But I'm praying, Lord God, that the veil be torn in Jesus' name. And I'm praying, Lord, that he will encounter your spirit, Lord God, and that he will never be the same, God, in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, what you do for one person, you can do for somebody else, Lord. You did it for me. Your word says you show no partiality. You show no favoritism, Lord God. Uh, you accept all those that come to you, repent, and follow you, Lord God. So I'm praying, Lord God, uh, this for my brother in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God bless you, bro. Yeah. 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 Bless me too, too, man. Yeah. Just seek Jesus, bro. Just seek him. What do you got to lose? What do you got to lose, right? Yo, yo, just seek the truth. Like, what do you got to lose? Like, just seek the truth. Jesus, seek him. If it's not, if, if I'm lying, then you're going to find out. But if I'm telling the truth, you'll never be the same, bro. All right, God bless you. I'm looking forward to seeing you in heaven, bro. And G only by Jesus. All right. All right, so the, uh, let me see. All right, God, that was my first time here from. So lately, like, I've been street preaching, but I've been realizing, like, yo, the things that have been more effective is those one-on-ones because you can actually relate to people, talk to people, and pray for them. So that's what I'm going to really be starting doing more. Uh, appreciate it. God bless you in Jesus' name. On to the next. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you.